Hello everyone, my name is CJ Gamer and welcome to my video on Tundara. Uh, I just recorded this and I did not realize I had my face cam on. <laughs> I did not realize I forgot to turn off my face cam. So, I will be doing this entire thing of the Dundar. However, you won't get to see the full thing of the Dundar. Sadly. So, because, of course, I accidentally had my face cam on. I didn't, and I did not even realize that. So, I will be doing it from here to the end. So, yeah. Here we go. You have restored the shrine to nobility. Well done. It is not enough to raise your status, but it shows your dedication. You need to pluck a silver rose from the garden at the Tower of Bel Regard. You'll have to deal with the Black Knight. Bel Regard. I cannot believe I did not even bother checking to see if my face cam was turned on. None shall pass. You insist? Then meet me inside Bel Regard with your weapon of choice in hand. Alright guys, so I'm gonna pause the video and then come back once I have defeated the black the the Dark Knight. The Black Knight. So I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, so I killed him. But a scratch. I've had worse. No, no, I haven't. I wonder if I can switch my deck around here. That's my fire spells here. On this one, let me do the other one. I have failed in my duty, and now my brother Finn will die. Why? For he is trapped herein by a fairy's curse. A spell has been placed around the garden wall. If you breach the wall to get a rose, the tower will fall and kill him. Please, speak to Finn upstairs. I'm thinking this is where it takes me? Yes. I have been cursed by the fairy Melusine to stay in this tower until it falls. I had heard stories of her wit and beauty. I surprised her at her pool outside Belle Regard. I wanted to talk to her, but I guess I scared her. Could you talk to her and apologize for me? I'd do anything to show her I was a friend and get her to lift the curse. There we go. Oh boy. <gasps> Where did you come from? What do you want? The boy, Finn, meant me no harm. Are you certain? I'm sure he was horrified by my tail. I cursed him so he couldn't attack me. 
He offered to do anything to make things right. If he wants to get to know me, he must swim as I do. I have an idea. You'll need silver from the scurvy skirkers in the weird. Take it to Llewellyn in Dundara to fashion a triton's tail. Okay, scurvy skirker. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna pause the video and then come back once I have defeated them. So, see you guys then. Alright, guys, so I have killed them. A merman or a fox man. Or a mer fox. Or whatever, I don't know. Raisin's tail. What a request. Hey, let me see what I can do. Play. This is the best I could fashion. It certainly looks right, but there is no magic in it. Llewellyn hands you a silver triton's tail. Perhaps the three-color serpent could enchant it for you. The three-color serpent? Aye, I've heard tell of him. A tricksy one, for sure. But if you are brave enough to ask, maybe he'll do it. divining treasure that you would return. I will do you one favor for your previous kindness. Enchant your fishtail. Simplicity itself. You lay the silver triton's tail in front of the worm. He chants words of power over it, causing it to glow with magic. Noel Nathrak. It is done. Take it, wizard, and consider us even. All right, then. The Don Dar Path to Don Dar You actually did it? You have me. I am a fairy of my word. I lift the curse of imprisonment on Finn Gingersnap. With your new Triton's tail, you can stay with me in the water half the time. And for the other half, we can live in the Tower of Belregard. A Belregard!
Please tell the Black Knight her duty here is done. Then I will help you with your quest. My obligation here is done? Hmm. Have you heard stories of the Knights of the Silver Rose gathering somewhere? I too shall go to Caliburn and hope to serve with them against the evil Pendragon. Oh, we're getting close to Azteca, and oh my god, Azteca sucks. I hate it. Now, you need a silver rose from the garden? If you breach the wall, Bell Regard will fall, and that seems a waste of a perfectly good tower. Go up to the wall, and I will enchant the rose bush to meet you. Take one silver rose back to Queen Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn. As you approach the wall, you hear Melusine sweetly singing a green spell of gardening. The rose bush grows and extends one perfect silver rose blossom for you to take. The wizard has returned with a silver rose. You have performed every task beautifully, and so I recognize your display of virtue. Why does it sound like the um, actress who plays as Hermione in um, Saturday Night Live? I dub thee Knight of the Weird. If you hope to complete your quest, we m if you hope to complete your quest, we must return to Caliburn to rally the Knights of the Silver Rose against the Pendragon. However, before I leave, I must ensure the safety of Dundara. I need you to help build a pact with the good fairies. Take this offer of an alliance to Deirdre Madden, Roy Firehilt, and Shane McGovern, then return. Look at you, a knight of the weird, a pact with Dundara. Of course, I love packs. Dundora? I think it's pronounced Dundora. Dora the Explorer. Dundora the Explorer. I'm just a simple blacksmith, youngster, but me and the pony corn and our brothers and sisters will assist Dundara. That I lied, sorry. If we don't help you stand against the Fraudlings and the evil Pendragon and this wild hunt, who will? Good on you to lead the way. Yeah, you are a blacksmith. I can see why. Give me that, thank you. The scrolls. Oh. Well then. Fire blade. Oh no, not my fire blade, my fire spear. A 
a strategic alliance with Dundara against the Fraudlings? We'll happily stand with them, shooting fiery arrows at the baddies. At the baddies. The Dundara. Everyone agree to the idea? You have the silver tongue of a true envoy. I need your help crafting a protective spell to watch over and guard Dundara in my absence. There is a dragon skull buried at Dragon Hill. Please fetch it back here. Weave. Weave. Dodge and weave. I think we'll do in the outer yard next. That voice crack though. Ooh. This was once a mighty worm. Perhaps Sir George Morton brought him low. With a little effort, you pull it from the ground and brush it off. Some fellow, isn't he? A dragon skull clearly requires a working of death skull necromancy. In order to empower it, you need to collect necromantic vigor from death seraphs. You can find them in the burial ground. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna pause the video and then come back once I have defeated four death seraphs. So, I'll see you guys then. Alright, guys, so I have defeated them. So, now let's go talk to Gwendolyn. It finally took me a while to get them all, but I finally did it. You got the necromantic vigor. Hard fought, but well earned. Take the Dragon Skull and the Necromantic Figure to Aeod. He will perform the final charm of making. Gwendolyn wants to create a Bone Dragon Defender? That is a powerful working. Ah, but I see you already have the reagents. I do not know all of the charm of making, for it is one of the most potent spells in the spiral, but I know enough. Anal Nathrak, Uthvasbithad. Uthvasbithad. Now, take the dragon skull to the plinth outside the wall and place it there. Greatens, young wizard, you have. Decline. Yes, I would like to decline your thingy so that I can do it later after I finish the world. The words of the druid rattle in your head, heavy with power. As you place the dragon skull upon the plinth, there's a crackle of mana. You have brought a semblance of life to what was once just bone and dirt. A fearsome guardian, indeed. Impressive work! Now I feel Dandara is well defended. I stored away my armor when I came here, hoping for solitude and peace. But clearly it is time to take up arms again. Please collect the okay. armor from that chest over there. They'll update Avalon at some point in the game. That'll still be a long time this away. Armor and these weapons have seen much use over the years. She is a true warrior queen. 
But it will be a long, long time till they update Avalon. Thank you. <coughs> it's been too long since I've won this <coughs> battle, Garb. I will change when we get to Caliburn. There is no more reason to tarry here. Meet me back at the Knight's Hall at Abbey Road. Oh no, don't tell me that the med this is messed up here. Is it messed up? Oh, please don't tell me it's messed up. Is it messed up? Is the quest messed up because of the new thing that they added? Nope. Okay, good. <clears throat> it has been a long time since I've seen these faces. There is much sadness and loss here. But still pride and courage. The first thing we must do is create a symbol for the knights to rally around. At Avalon, King Artorias had his stone table. I've heard it fell into the jaws of a terrible bane worm who lurks in a cave nearby. Face him down and retrieve it for us. Oh, I think it's this one. Yeah, the Bane Worm in here. <coughs> Behind the waterfall. Alright guys, so I'm going to pause the video and then come back once I have defeated the Bane Worm. So I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, I think I killed him. Yep, I definitely killed him. Yep, he's definitely dead. <sighs> to be defeated by such a small, soft, sniveling thing. Oh, there he's walking into his little cave area. Artorius's stone table has been broken into pieces. Gwendolyn. <coughs> Excuse You've me. You've recovered it. Mm, that's a lot more pieces than I expected. Mm, take the pieces of the stone table to Wayland Noy. If anyone can perform a miracle, he can. Wayland Noy. Of course I'm gonna have to fight someone else, don't I? Of course I do. Let me see what you have there. Oh my stars. No, there's no way I can fix that. I can help you fashion a new table. We need a stone cutter of unequaled skill. You don't happen to know any Ettons, do you? You do? Wonderful. I've heard Billy Brute lives deep in the Weirwood. You'll have to find out where, the hard way, from the Ansem Vomari, near Dondara. <laughs> the Dundar! See, we're not even done with the darn, 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 darn door. The darn, the darn door. The darn door. We aren't even done with it yet. The darn door.
There's a spell of the Handsome Fomoy, as well as the creatures of the Handsome Fomoy. How are they handsome? They don't even look like handsome. They don't even look handsome. How are they handsome? That's what I want to know. <clears throat> At least they're not, uh, myth. Like the ones in, uh, the high road. You find a lot of Fomoys and this in Avalon. And besides we're in Headmaster Ambrose's road anyway. This is where he comes from. You know what I mean. Stormlord Deployment Stormlord Fizzle Because I used him too many times Now he just doesn't want to cooperate with me anymore So I guess he just doesn't like being on camera. <laughs> Did I just really do that by accident? Of course I did. Of course I did. I wonder how these guys would look when they're up there. My sirens just love being on camera, I guess. They're like, I'll, I'll just lay down. Alright, the Billy Boot. 
Oh, Billy Boot. Friend. Food. Friend. I like that. Food. No, no, friend. I'm bug. You need a piece of stone for a table? Certainly. I chiseled this one from a cliff just this morning. Here, let me help you squeeze it into your bag. It takes some work, but you get it in there. Huh, I'm in doubt that would fit. Good luck with it. Good luck with it. I like his act, um, the actor's act, accent. Good luck with it. Well done, wizard. That huge stone slab is perfect for our task. I can do a quick cut to get the basic shape of the table. But to finish it properly, we'll want to use a bit of magic. Ideally, we'd need a silver rose to bless it in the traditional manner. You've one of those too, by Gamma's wings. I'll move the table over to the Knight's Hall, but you'll need to place the rose in the center. Then you can tell the Queen. Hi. Oh boy, so many people. You pull the silver rose from your bag, and it seems to leap out of your hand to land at the center of the table. My stars, that was impressive. My goodness, wizard, you're a miracle worker. Knight of the Weird, I need your aid in rallying the Knights of the Silver Rose. Tell them to come to the Knight's Hall. Make sure you talk to Sir Pike, Sir Brennan, Sir Robin, Sir Drustin, Sir Jean Paul, Sir Guy, and the Black Knight in Caliburn. And don't forget Sir Perry on the High Road. Then meet me in the Knight's Hall. Look at how far you've come in the world since we first met so long ago. Queen Gwendolyn summons me to the Knights Hall? Of course! Greetings, wizard. The one. Oh, hello. Should we be rushing off to fight the Fraudlings? That doesn't sound too safe. Well, I guess, if the Queen has requested me personally. By the by, do you know if there will be guards at this meeting? The Black Knight. It is wonderful to be here as part of a true knightly order. I am honored to obey the Queen and serve with knights such as you. So apparently I'm a knight. I need to dress up like a knight then, huh? Get it? The Queen <laughs> calls? Of course! Morningstar and I will ride into the jaws of death for her! For Artorius and Gwendolyn! Oh, Morning Star, so cute. They should have a mount of Morning Star that you can get that it's permanent in the game. I, the angry fish, will see you at the Knight's Hall. Hail again, Queen Gwendolyn. Ah, oh, it stirs my heart to hear she's rejoined us. Raise the sword and bang the shields.
A knight of the weird, eh? Me too. Lovely people in the weirwood. The best ever. Well, also the worst critters, I suppose. Tell Queen Gwendolyn I am thrilled to serve her and follow the Silver Rose again. Noble knight, you have risen so high since I first met you. Once a pup, not even a squire, and now a knight of the weird. Tell Queen Gwendolyn I will rush to her side. May Avalon thunder again with the voices of the Knights of the Silver Rose. We called the banners and they all came. This is a great day for us, wizard. We will prepare to assist you in taking the fight to the vaunted halls of Castle Avalon and the Dread Pendragon itself. It is time to travel to Lake Nimui to see the Lady of the Lake, the Defender of the Sword of Kings and the Spirit of Avalon. As a fully sworn knight, you may challenge Pendragon's petty lord, Malgrin. Malgrin is the Horned One who guards the drawbridge between Upper Caerleon and the Barbican of Avalon. Upper Caerleon. Defeat Malgrin and head through the Barbican to the outer yard of Avalon. You will need to find an ally who can help you navigate from the castle to Lake Nemui. May you fly with Gamma's wings. Yay! So once we reach the outer yard then, that's where I'm going to end the video. Sorry guys. Sorry guys if you see that. I'm just trying to get to the tower. in the next video we will be doing the outer yard and uh, the lady of the lake place or whatever because I think the outer yard is really short but if not then just the outer yard Alrighty, here we go. Alright guys, so I'm gonna pause the video and then come back once I have defeated the boss, so we'll see you guys then. Alright guys. I'm but one blade in a pin dragon storm of sorts. The rest will tear you down. Catacombs Helm. Level 76, whatever. But Dakota... Storm Petal barely survived it. But anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of this episode until tomorrow. And if you guys enjoyed the video, then make sure you smash that like button, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that post notification so then you guys can know when I post a new video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye bye.